It is snowing in the mountains today. We are finally getting some snow. It is freezing outside. It's definitely fall outside. It is cold. I am in my sweater. I love it. I love this feeling, this, this crisp feeling. It's actually like not crisp. It's actually just cold today. Today's the first day it's felt cold to me. So it's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Getting ready for our baby moon tomorrow. Packing, doing laundry. Do you guys do laundry before you go on trips? I feel like I just have to have all my options for what to wear. So I have to do all the laundry and I had to do towels because we'll have no clean towels when we come back. So I had to do towels. I'm just doing laundry, housework. Do you guys clean your houses before you go on trips? Hate coming home to a dirty house. So it's just full on stay home, get all the housework done. So excited for our trip tomorrow. I'm hoping the weather's gonna be good. Crossing my fingers for that. I'm also 20 weeks. I was 20 weeks yesterday and I'm wearing a sweater, so good luck seeing a bump. It's huge. The bump is huge. I'm feeling really good. I'm noticing a lot of weight in my stomach. It's like a mass now. Before it just kind of felt like I was just getting fatter, you know? But now it's a mass, like it gets in the way. As opposed to if it was just like organs and fat and stuff, you just can kind of roll around on that. Like I notice when I hug Mike, Mike, if he hugs me too tightly, it feels like it's in the way. So he's definitely there. He's growing. I think he's six and a half inches the size of a banana. So today I just wanted to address like comments that I've been getting like crazy. I still can't even believe my YouTube channel is growing. Thank you to all of you who follow along. Welcome if you're new here. If you're new here, these uh, these responses to comments will be really helpful to you. So, I am behind on my videos. However, I'm working my butt off to get caught up. I have um, a few more videos to post before I'll fully be caught up, but because we're going on vacation, that's gonna kinda throw off my schedule. I've been doing really good posting every other day, which can be really confusing if you're new here because I'm posting like I'm 10 weeks and then the very next video two days later I'm suddenly 13 weeks or something like that so that can be confusing I was intentionally behind in the beginning just for our privacy sake we wanted to kind of delay our announcement of um, being pregnant so I'm trying to get these videos going I plan to edit on the plane ride to our baby moon so hopefully I'll be able to get these out quickly but I am going to be caught up eventually so don't fret if you like videos to be caught up. I know a lot of you have been a little frustrated with that, but I will get caught up, I promise. Instagram, we did start an Instagram account based on the request of you guys. So our Instagram is Abby underscore and underscore Mike. I'll put it right there. And just go ahead and follow us. I'm posting pictures, updates. I'll post there, I'll post here still. So go ahead and go there. I've had people ask me about getting a P.O. box. As of right now, we don't plan to get one um, if this account gets huge and I get a lot of requests, then maybe. But as of right now, we're not going to be doing a P.O. box. Um, I've had people ask me about an online baby registry. I do have an online baby registry. If you go and search um, Abby and Mike on Amazon, you will find us. Make sure you put in our, I think it requires you to put in a due date. Anyway, our due date is February 21st. Abby S. and Mike S. Michael. I think it's in there as Michael. And that feels a little weird if you want to send me stuff, but feel free. I mean, that's so kind of you if you want to, but that registry is still growing. I'm still working on building it. So there's not a ton on there right now, but it'll get bigger. Of course, by the time I post this video, there should be more, so. I've had a lot of comments about people telling me that I worry too much and that I'm not enjoying my pregnancy, which is so not true. Yes, I worry. I think every mom that's pregnant worries. I think every mom that's just a mom in general worries. I think you just worry about your kids. And I promise you I'm worrying, but I promise you I'm enjoying way more than I'm worrying. 
I am enjoying every moment of this pregnancy. He is moving so much now and it's so fun to just feel him and I promise you I'm enjoying it. So don't fret if you think I'm worrying too much. I'm not, I'm just worrying the perfect amount. Last thing, you guys are adorable and have commented on my makeup. Thank you so much, that's so nice of you. I love makeup. I love wearing a lot of makeup, as you can see. I don't do this face every day. This is my favorite face. This is my, like, lots of makeup face. I do it most of the time, but there are some days that I just wanna do light, and I'll do that. So I have a couple, I'm not gonna do a tutorial, a makeup tutorial. I feel really weird doing that. So I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the things that I use and then kinda tell you how I use them and you can take it for what it's worth. Okay, so my first tip is, so I'm 32, I'm starting to get wrinkles here, I'm starting to get wrinkles here, and I noticed that my foundation was starting to settle in those wrinkles. So I did a lot of research and this is what I found works for me. First tip is after you put your moisturizer on after you get out of the shower, which is how I do it, I put my moisturizer on after I get out of the shower, I make sure that I give that time to soak in. I probably wait at least 10 minutes before I start putting makeup on my face. You gotta let that moisturizer kind of soak in. And then um, after I do my foundation, I also let that soak in before I put powder on. So usually what I'll do is I do my foundation and like my eye brightener underneath and then I walk away. I like make my bed usually is what I do. I'll go and I'll make my bed and then I'll come back and then I'll put the powder on, giving that foundation time to kind of settle into my, my face. Um, the Basically, I'm a cheap makeup user. I don't love to spend a lot of money on makeup, mostly because I love makeup so much and I wear a lot of product on my face. So. If someone gives me expensive makeup, I'm happy to use it and I love it, but when it comes to just what I buy, I really don't spend a ton of money. So most of what I buy, you can buy at Walmart or your local drugstore or pharmacy, with a few exceptions. So first things first, my powder that I use after I let my moisturizer, or sorry, after I let my foundation soak in, the powder I use, you cannot buy at Walmart. You have to buy it online. This is the very best, I swear by this powder. This is called RCMA Translucent Powder. Um, it, or sorry, it's a no color powder. This is, uh, the RCMA stands for Research Council of Makeup Artists and I love this powder. It's just a like it's a white powder, but it doesn't go on white. It just goes on completely clear. So, clear, translucent, whatever. I love this powder so much. I noticed that when I started using this powder, my foundation stopped settling in my in my creases and my wrinkles so much. So I swear by this, this packaging is obnoxious and I don't know why they do it. It's like a spice container. So it's quite obnoxious to use, <laughs> but I just pour it onto something and then I use my powder and then whatever I have left over I pour back into this bottle. So I got this off of Beautylish, yeah, Beautylish and I think it was $12 which is for this size and all this powder super comparable to what you would just get at Walmart with any of the major brands. So I love this. If you don't take any of my other tips, take this tip. I promise you, you will love this. I do have a friend that uses it based off of my recommendation and she feels like it's a little cakey. It might be. I like a lot of makeup though. So if you don't like that cakey feel or the feel of a lot of makeup, this might not be for you, but I am a makeup wearer as you can tell. So if you don't like the cakey feel, maybe don't get it, but I love this stuff. Next thing, my cheeks. A lot of people talk about my cheeks and my contouring. I definitely do contour. So what I do after I put this powder on is I take just what, just a concealer. This one in particular is from Costco. My mom really, really likes the foundation from Costco and it always comes with this little concealer pack. So she gives me her concealer. She keeps foundation and she gives me her concealer. And it just comes with, you know, the tri-color and I use the darkest color, which you can buy concealer anywhere and you can get whatever color you want. I just use the darkest brown and it comes with a little brush and I just apply it right below my cheekbone. Make sure you don't go too 
low because it will pull your face down, but you can't go too high. I really just hit it like right here. What I try to do is find my hair crease from my ear and I just go straight out to like the bottom of my nose. So I put that and then I use a beauty blender to kind of blend that in. After I use that, then I use, and I'm telling you, I use cheap makeup, you guys. Then I just use a blush. This is Wet n Wild. And the reason I bought Wet n Wild is because it's the cheapest blush you can buy. And this color that I'm wearing today and this color is called Mellow Wine. And I really like it. It's not quite the color I was shopping for when I was shopping, but this is the best pink that they had at the time. So I've actually really liked it. And I just apply my blush right here on my cheek, not making sure not to go below this crease, meaning this way, and then out over the top of the um, contour, the concealer. Then after that, I use my bronzer and I just kind of lightly, I've already got a lot of blush on and the contour adds the brown, so I just kind of lightly do this. I do my forehead, I do my neck with the bronzer. I've had people ask me what kind of bronzer I use. This bronzer is Bronze Booster and the color is light to medium. So I think I just got it at Walmart again. So I also use this as my eyeshadow, which we'll get to in just a second. After I do the contour, the blush, the bronzer, then I use a highlighter pow highlighting powder, which is what you see right there. Also using Wet n Wild because it's the cheapest one. This is the color I use, kind of hard to tell. It's like a really light shimmery pink. It's called Blossom Glow and it this is just a powder. So I just use my blush brush and I take it and I put it right at the top, right of my cheekbone right here, right at the top on each side and then just down the center of my nose. And that I've noticed really makes a difference when it comes to like the cakiness of the powder. The cakiness of this powder, or this powder in general, will take all the shine off your face. So it's nice to add a little bit of shine in the controlled areas that you want. Okay, my eyes. This is what I do for my eyes. My sister gave me this and I am obsessed with it. So instead of using a eyeshadow primer, which I, I like eyeshadow primers, I have started using this. It is called Color Tattoo. Whoa, come on. It's called Color Tattoo. It is by Maybelline and it is just like a primer. It I just put it on with my finger using my ring finger and I just put it on and I go all the way down and all the way up to my eyebrow. This color is like white and it's called Too Cool. I use this color because this is what my sister gave me. I don't know if I would buy this color. I like it because it kind of gives some good dimension to my eye, but I don't know if I would necessarily buy this again. I was looking at these and I know that there's like a cream that they sell, so I might get the cream next time, but I do kind of like the dimension this gives. So anyway, I just apply that with my finger. It is not super forgiving, meaning if you get it on your eye and you get like a clump, you can't get that clump off. So you have to use like a makeup wipe or something to get it off. It doesn't really come off very easily. If you, once you put it on, if you were to like mess up your eyeliner, you can't just get it off with water. It, you have to really get it off with like a makeup wipe, which is good for the purposes of staying put all day long. It says it's a 24 hour and I, it, it really is a 24 hour. So it doesn't give you any of that eyeshadow clumpage. It really acts just like a primer, but it gives you that color. After I do that, because that is so white, I just use like a skin color um, eyeshadow. This is Maybelline, it's called Linen. And I just take a brush and I completely cover the, what do you, I guess this is just eyeshadow, but the, the color tattoo stuff. Because of the color that this is, I don't necessarily want my entire eye to be like a bright white. So I just take the skin color um, eyeshadow and just completely cover it. So I still have that shimmer a little bit, but it's this color instead of the white color. And sometimes you can see it down. I don't know if we can see right now, but sometimes you can see it down, yeah, at the bottom of my eye, which I actually really like. It kind of gives it, so I've got, Sorry, my eyelid is shaking because I'm trying to keep both of them open, but I've got like the this white part is definitely going to be the color tattoo coming out. So, then 
after that. Maybe it would have been easier to do a tutorial. I just feel weird doing that. I don't know. Anyway, so then after I apply this, just this skin color um, eyeshadow, then I take my bronzer and I just apply my bronzer just in my crease here. And I don't go all the way across. I just go here to just kind of give a little bit of dimension. I, I have bought eyeshadows that are like bronzer colored and those work just fine too, but I figure I might as well just use my bronzer because I already have it. So that's that. And then I just apply, after I do all that, then I will apply my eyeliner. And my eyeliner, I do a black eyeshadow. I use an eyebrow brush because they're really, really thin. I use a black eyeshadow. And then after I get the cat eye, I like cat eye. After I get the cat eye that I want, then I apply a liquid liner over the top of that. But I don't completely cover the shadow. I like the softness that the eyeshadow gives to the liner. If I just, if you just do a liquid liner, it's really harsh, which isn't a bad look. I just don't really like it on me. And I used to actually only do that until I um, discovered that I could just do eyeshadow. And on my off days, on my days I don't do this full face, I only do shadow eyeliner. I don't even use the liquid liner, so. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I've just had some questions on my makeup and so that's what I use. If you have more questions, put them down below, makeup related or not makeup related. I'm thinking about maybe doing a Q&A coming up here. So if you have questions for us, comment. I, I wrote all these down because there was quite a few. So also I'm just wondering what kind of content you guys want to see. There are a lot of you now and I'm still so shocked that there are so many of you here, but if you have content you want to see, we're happy to do it. We just don't know what you want. We're, we know why you're here. We know you're here because you saw our, you followed our infertility journey or you saw our pregnancy announcement and are now following our pregnancy. But if there's something else you're interested in, let us know and we um, will try to accommodate because we, I really enjoy making these videos. Mike's not around all that much. He is, but not when I do the videos. So that's why you never really see him. Anyway, so let me know what you want to see. Comment below. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for following along. I, I'm blown away by your kindness. It's, a, it's amazing to me. And the kindness on the pregnancy announcement video I've gotten is just incredible. You guys have been crying when watching it. I cry every time I watch it still and I'm halfway through this pregnancy. It is an emotional video, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna go pack because, and do laundry because I gotta, I gotta get going for this trip. Does anybody else do this? I mean, I wait till the last second to wash all the clothes I want and then I'm like blast drying them underneath this fan because I can't, of course, put them in the dryer because then they would shrink. So, it's really hard to pack when your clothes are wet though. But I lay out all my clothes, kind of plan out what I'm gonna wear. Does anybody else pick out their husband's outfits? I don't always pick his outfits out when we go on vacation, but I told him, picking out your outfits. And I went and bought him two pairs of shoes yesterday because his style and my style are a bit different. And he's gotta look good on this trip, you know? So, Hopefully clothes will dry soon and you'd laugh if you knew there were two more loads I'm gonna try to get dry before the end of the day and it's 3.30. So our flight leaves at 8, which means we need to be at the airport by 6. So this whole waiting till the last second thing, probably not gonna work out so well for me this time around. <laughs> Wanted to share with you one of my favorite snacks that I've been eating lately and I grew up on this so it's definitely Something that is dear to my heart. I think a lot of people think that this is weird, but I thought I would share with you My family grew up eating Celery with cream cheese in it So I just buy the third fat third less fat cream cheese and put it inside my celery and I love eating I eat About seven pieces a day Which is funny that I count it out and then I just add some raspberries to the plate and that is just one of my favorite snacks that's mostly healthy. I mean, the cream cheese isn't like through the roof healthy, but 
It's no different than eating peanut butter. It's high in fat. So I kind of grew up on that. It's an acquired taste probably to some people. To me, it is the absolute best snack. So if you're interested, cream cheese, celery, so good.